music is the preference for me. Uh, it gives you great, great energy. It gets everyone going. It it's live, so they can read. Uh, it's live, so they can read the situation. It just gets the energy in the room. They can tweak the volume. It sounds ridiculous, but you can also work with the wind direction if you're doing an outside ceremony, um, because sometimes the wind <laughs> just blows the music away. Um, and if you position the speakers, you're like, oh, that's annoying. Um, but you have a rehearsal, and we know that we make sure that the speakers, you actually can move to the direction that the wind's going to blow the music in, because otherwise it just, you know, goes down screaming and you lose your music. Um, so, who, if you're having a live musician, keep keep up the contact, have a, have a proper big discussion about your vibe, and, you know, get inspired by each other, um, try and find your great playlist. If you're doing an actual recorded playlist and not live musicians, then um download it properly don't try and put it off the internet label it put it in order and delegate it to an usher who can press play and can fade beautifully between three and five seconds <laughs> right who what what music so if you are having a civil if you're at a registrar it has to be 100 percent non-religious it can't have religious connotations so for example you couldn't play robbie williams angels because that has religious connotations um you can play things that have nothing to do with spirituality heaven stars you know there'll be a list and when you are booking your reg registrar you have to submit your music and full lyrics which is kind of annoying but it has to be done with me i'm like i just want to hear the song and then i listen to your soundtrack while i'm writing your ceremony and it gets me in the groove because i know what you're about because i can hear your playlist and it's really great it's a great great inspiration for me as a celebrant to be writing your ceremony whilst listening to your playlist love it um so the what is the main two rules are if it's a legally binding marriage as well as a wedding i.e. it's with a registrar, then you can't have any religious content at all. If you are having a church marriage and wedding, then yes, of course, you can have religious content. Um, you don't have to really have religious content in, in all songs in the church wedding. They just kind of want you to, you know, at least have one. Um, so it might be that you have a hymn, but you come up and go down to something else. But you do have to have at least one because you're in a church and why wouldn't you? is their argument, which I totally understand. So that's the who, the what. The when is you have the entrance, which is the procession, the procession in. So the bride, the bridal party, you can, it's American, but um, more people are doing it in Britain, have two. So if you're going to do the American way, you would have one tune for the bridesmaids and the whole entourage, the, the flower girls, the page boys, the, everybody. And then you pause, fade, optimum, three and a half to five seconds. Um, but have a live musician, you won't need to, because they'll do it for you. Um, and then the next track would be The Bride and The Father of the Groom, if you're going super traditional. In, Actually, that's not super traditional at all. Scrap that bit. Um, if you're going American and want to have two, two procession entrances, in other words, so you can have one for the bridal party and one for the bride and the father of the bride. Um, people tend, if you're going to do it the British way, you would have one tune and the bride and the father would, the, the flower girls would go up first, the bride and the father of the bride would go up next and then the bridesmaids and then the maid of honour. That's if you're going to do it like the royals. You know, if you're going to do a typically British wedding, that's the way you do it. If you only watch any um, royal weddings, the bride comes first and the bridesmaids maid. And the maid of honour has your back at the back and make sure everyone is in the place where they should be and is there once you're dressed as being traditional happy to then take your bouquet. Um, so you'd, if you're doing one walk in, have a quite a substantial bit of music so that you've got time to walk in, you've got time to take a breath, you've got time to like say hello. You're like, hello. especially if it's like, you know, a long awaited time. And you could just take a moment to breathe. So with that, if you're having recorded music, the usher needs to have eye contact, I would say, with the celebrant so that they can kind of sense when they're ready and then you give the nod and then you do your fade. If it's musicians, again, eyes with the celebrant and she'll give the nod or he'll give the nod 
and and the music will fade. That sentence. Um, the next bit might be the signing of the register. Now that's transitioning at the moment because you don't, if you're having a registrar, you don't have to sign the register as such. It's an iPad, one of those electric pencil pencil things, and you you sign you sign a gadget, uh, which is a real shame. Um, but it is what it is. So you would pick a piece of music for that. I would probably say pick two if you are having a registrar wedding, but obviously don't <laughs> have have a celebrant wedding. In which case you can do with what you like. Um, what I'm doing at the moment, which seems to be really, I love it. The two out of the last five that I've done, um, I've written for August because we've had our, you know, think weddings can happen fully now, is people having a sing along which is so nice. Um, and they are singing, there's an Elton John one, your song. Uh, what else are people singing? They were singing, there was one from the Muppets, which was really fast. Um, and uh, Life's a Happy Song was da 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 And it got really fast. It was, everyone was like, oh, I can't keep up. So it was just, it was just fun. It was really good fun. And then I did one in 2019, it was a Beatles song. Um, all you need is love, and um, it oh, it was just such good energy because everyone was just being like hamming up and being really cheesy and romantic, and it was really good fun. Um, so you could do that at signing the register. You could do it after signing the register, maybe have a reading and then have a sing along, um, and get everyone up and singing because there's nothing like a good sing along to get the energy up. Um, oh, Nick, you're smiling. Thanks, Nick. Don't you love it when when um, there's a wedding sing along? Love it, love it, love it. Um, and then you would have the recessional or the exit, depending if you want to use modern or old school language, the recessional or exit music. And that needs to boom. That needs to have really good energy. If you want to go out with a bang. If actually the vibe is and you just want to take it all in, walk really slowly down the aisle, just grinning at everybody, then pick a really cozy romantic gorgeous chocolate covered kind of song um you know like a thousand years you know you just kind of go <gasps> um I was at a wedding meeting last week and we were talking wedding music and she was saying you know a thousand years and I was like are you going to be able to walk up to that without crying because I can't listen to it without crying um and I, I was talking about it on the I talked about it on here before um I do quite it's a lot of um uh what was I doing? Oh, access access weddings. Um, and there's a thing on YouTube where the bride enters, walks up the aisle, signing a thousand years to her groom who's deaf. And it's I I cannot watch it without utterly crying. Uh, and this bride, I showed her the bride, I showed her this, and the bride was like, "Oh my god!" And I was like, "I'm not going to get through that without crying." So, are you going to get up the aisle without crying? She's like, "No." I said, "Well, mate, you know, just let's practice." Um, so. If you are going to go for something super, super, super romantic that's going to just make you cry, maybe have that as your exit music, your recessional music. So it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Blub away. Um, but if you want to feel a bit more together and you want to feel strong and you don't want to feel like your bottom lips wobbling and your mascara is running down your face, um, you know, A, tell your makeup artist, please waterproof mascara because I am going to cry. Um, and maybe choose that really emotional song for the outgoing. Nick, what you said, I love the Why Book a Registrar. The book is celebrant. They are much more fun. <laughs> Absolutely, Nick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish I could share that comment. Go share, go share that comment. Yeah, like, why, why, why would you? Why would you? People can't get their head around it. And it's like, registrars don't witness the birth and death. They just register it. They don't need to witness your wedding. They just register your marriage. The wedding is an event. You don't go to marriage fairs. You're not wearing a marriage dress. If I was in my marriage dress, I'd have been wearing it for 13 years. It's just a wedding dress. It's just for the day because the wedding is the event. So, yes. Look at registrar to go and register your marriage for 50 quid and takes 12 minutes and then have a lovely wedding with lots of music and any scenario that you want. So, who, what, where, when, and then the why, for me, comes down to energy and comes down to values. I love the energy that live music brings. I genuinely love it. 
and over the last 18 months I have utterly missed it. Um, I'm singing at a funeral on Friday, which is my godmother's funeral, and I haven't sang, sung, oh, haven't sung for so long, and having homeschooled for like a year, my voice has got a lot lower, and I was like, how am I going to reach those top notes? Anyway, had a little practice, bashed out the top notes, it was a lot easier than I thought, so I was pleasantly surprised. Um, but the release of that tension and the joy that that singing brought, I literally started sobbing. I was like, oh my God, I really miss singing. <laughs> and then a guy that was at the back of the room came up to me. He's like, oh my God, that's so lovely. It's so nice to hear singing. And I was like, I don't think you're going to make me cry. And I was like, everyone out of the room, I need to practice. <laughs> and then bless they all just sat at the back, started listening. It was so nice. Um, we had a quick practice today um, in between the school runs. It's so nice to sing. So for me, energy. Yes, BB3. What's BB3? What does BB3 mean? I don't know. Nick, what does BB3 mean? I'm really rubbish at like modern acronyms. Anyway, let me know. Um, so the who, what, where, when, why. The why for me is all about the energy and all about your values. I really, I love contributing to suppliers. I love being able to recommend people. I love that it's supporting everyone in the wedding industry, you know, pandemic or not. Oh, cover bands are the best. They're the really good fun, aren't they? And now we can dance. I'm so excited. I know, wicked. We had um, the drummer from the bootleg Beatles at our wedding. It was wicked. It was so much fun. So Colin on the drums, my father-in-law on the keyboard, my brother-in-law on the bass or the normal the bass um my cousin-in-law on the guitar and my husband on vocals it was really good fun so our live band was my family that i married into which was wicked and they loved it and then so many of my friends were like oh my god we love the band it was literally called the band and then for like the next four years the band played at all the gang's weddings it was wicked um so i, I love a bit of live music love it love it love it but the who what where when why who recorded or live, when, incoming, signing, outgoing, plus a sing-along if you can. There's four opportunities. Um, who, what, where, when. Non-religious, if it's a registrar, you have to have totally not religious things. And then why for the energy? There you go. That's awesome. As in um, the band, as in I'm married into the band. It was wicked. I'm very excited. And now my eldest is learning the guitar and the middle ones um, wants to do the violin. Mm, not sure about that one. Um, but it might be better than drum kit. Anyway, we really need to do an IG live together soon, Helen. Yes, I'd love to. Always. Never going to say no. Right. There we go. Who, what, where, and why. Music. Very important. Let's get the industry back. Let's support the live music industry. There is nothing like live energy um, at a wedding. It's brilliant. And I'm all for a bit of a sing-along too. Okie doke, lots of love everybody, thanks for sticking with me.